Hey everybody, it's Gioni, and today I'm going to be um, changing out these old fluorescent uh, tube fixtures with a couple of these um, Honeywell four foot linkable shop lights. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to be converting my uh, fixtures here into uh, some outlets. And uh, the reason is just because I had a couple of these light bulbs go out and they were like some really crazy, uh, they weren't like two pin, you know, and they were hard to find and they're like $15 each if I wanted to order them. Be sure to find your local hazardous waste disposal, especially if these don't have green on the ends. I had two of each, so I just took them all. And so I just figured I'm gonna change these out. Um, and instead of doing more fixtures, I'm going to just put um, these plug-in lights so that they're LED, they use less energy, and if down the road I wanted to change them out or add another one uh, somewhere else in the garage, I could just link it to that outlet or these link together. Um, so I get more lighting um, and it's just more versatile and things like that. So uh, I'm not an electrician by any means. Um, so if you are an electrician, just please say uh, the comments and things like that. Cause I know I'm probably gonna do things a little different, but the most important thing is that you turn off your power at your breaker. Uh, if you wanna use the tester, you can, um, but just make sure that everything is safe before you start doing this. If you're not comfortable doing something like this, just make sure that you do call an electrician. But I'm gonna go through a couple of these little steps just to show you how easy it can be uh, to convert these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So from doing uh, one of these, I realized that I kept trying to unscrew it like for so long and um, it wasn't coming out. So I came up here and realized there's like three inches of uh, toggle bolt here. So I started it on the bottom and then just came up top to get them down to where I could finish the job from underneath. Now that I have the black, white and the ground out from the fixture and the fixtures off, I can go ahead and pull these wires out and remove uh, remove this and get ready to uh, put in one of these two gang. And the reason I use a two gang, even though I'm only using one outlet, is to make up for the extra space of this uh, size of hole. So now that I've got that out, um, I just am going to uh, trace this and then use my drywall saw to uh, cut that out and then nail these into the stud. Um, if you don't have access to the attic like this, then you'll just use one of the uh, what's called um, old work um, outlet cases here. And then, um, you know, they just have these little things that clamp on. So now that I've got this installed here, I'm just going to take flathead screwdriver and my hammer and just kind of knock out a little slot here doesn't have to be super big for the new wire and then i'm also going to go ahead and trim all of these wires because i don't need that much they were so long because they needed to go into the actual um fixture so um i'm gonna go ahead and cut those and then feed these through Now everything I need to do is done from down in the garage. On this side, um, all I have is the black, white, and ground. On the other side is where the switch is. So I'll show you how um, you need to wire that with the pigtails and then the switch wire, which is red. But over here is just gonna be uh, the, sh the smaller side is the brass and the longer side is the neutral, which is the silver. This side's gonna be your hot wire. So that's gonna be the black one and then your ground wire, and it's pretty straightforward. So this is the part where I was talking about having the red wire um, 
And I actually did this one a couple weeks ago just because I needed lights in here and I was running out of time, but they didn't have these uh, fiberglass uh, nail-in ones. So I had to get one of the blue ones that's for um, old work. And so I just kind of put it in there temporarily um, until I got this, but don't be overwhelmed by all of these different connectors and stuff. The main thing you need to know is once you take your fixture off, these are the wires that were uh, connected to the fixture. So I put tape on those so that when I took all of these different sets of wires out, I knew that the white went with the white, the ground went with the ground, and then the black went with the black. And then I put just that little tape to make sure I knew which ones needed to go to the outlet, which helped me remember. And the red and the black were originally um, in uh, wire nut connected. But for this, you actually um, have to uh, put the red on one of the wires and then the black on the other. Um, and then you just have the one white on this side. And that's because this is uh, your switch, which is controlling uh, your power on and off. And let me add that I'm using these fiberglass ones uh, with the nail in just because they're more sturdy. And this is a lot more st uh, sturdy material than the blue ones. It, just because this is in the attic area, uh, you don't want it to start getting really hot up there and warping or anything. So this is going to give you just a lot more uh, comfort knowing that you have something that's going to last a long time. It's also a really good idea to go through and kind of cut back uh, where you were connecting um, the connectors on here just to make sure that you don't have anything break off later on and everything is just starting new and then taking some of these wires back just a little bit. And then I, you could get these in one piece on Amazon, but at my hardware store, I had to get it in two pieces and you just kind of customize. So if you have a light switch and then outlet on this side, you just customize it. And so it leaves that empty space. So the last thing on this side is just to go ahead and put this in there and then uh, get our lights up. So here are my lights all hooked up, the face plates on there. And um, these were super easy to screw in there. Didn't need a pre-drill or anything like that. You could put your chains however long you want, or you could flush mount them because um, it comes with that hardware as well. Um, these are super versatile. I might even eventually put another one back here, or you know, you could you could put these on the actual outlet, or the lights can link together um, because they have outlets on the sides. Um, so just super versatile and uh, there's so much more that you could do with these when there's two outlets up there rather than a fixture. Could even put a fan or something on one of these. But um, yeah, I hope this helps some of you do it yourselfers at home. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. But if not, we'll catch you on the next one.